Hi everyone, we've just arrived here at Royal Perth Yacht Club in sunny Western Australia. Today, right behind me, we have this beautiful Cruisers Yachts 3750 motor yacht, which we've just repowered with two brand new FPT NEF 450 marine engines. The engines that have come out are two Caterpillar 3116 engines, which were previously set to 350 horsepower. Now, unfortunately, one had a catastrophic failure, and so the most economical option to also bring the vessel forward in regards to engine technology was a repower with the two NEF 450s. There's a few considerations with a repower like this that we have to consider. So we are reusing existing gearboxes, shafts, propellers, exhaust systems and seawater systems. So the best thing we could do was derate the NEF 450s down to 370 horsepower at 3000 RPM to ensure that we were making this repower as cost effective as possible. The boat as you can see is in excellent condition and it was worthy of the time and money to repower the boat. We're going for a sea trial this morning. Look forward to seeing exactly how the FPT NEF 450s perform. We can't wait to show you some more. Come on board. As we're now in the engine room, let me show you around the engines and all the different features that have made the NEF 450 a really easy fit into the engine room. So the twin engines here have gone in as standard on standard factory mounts, which is made for a really easy installation. The beds were very close to the old CAT 3116 engines, which has meant that the engines can really basically sit in the same spot, however being slightly smaller in dimension, you can see that we've actually got more room over top of the engines as opposed to how tight the Caterpillars were before. The gearboxes behind are the ZF IRM220A-1 gearboxes in a 1.533 to 1 ratio. Now they're the same gearboxes that came off the Caterpillar engines. The advantage of that is that they will bolt straight on the SAE3 bell housing of the NEF450. However, we just have to cut off a very small radius arc, which is where the starter motor used to sit to suit the cats. So, been very easy in regards to bolting them on, so the engines drop back in, we haven't had to make any gearbox changes, apart from doing our standard, uh, sending the gearboxes out for replacing the input and the output seals and having them run up and tested, because it's the easiest time to really make sure your gearboxes are in good condition while they're out. So these engines here, the NEF 450, as the name says, they're 450 horsepower at 3000 RPM. For this boat, however, due to limitations both in regards to the gearbox and the shaft, we've actually derated these down to 370 horsepower at 3000 RPM. The reason that we chose the NEF 450 though is because being the 6.7 litre displacement, they produce better torque to hence move along this quite large vessel uh, along quite well. So in regards to engine room components while we're here, you can see that we have here our seawater inlet, 
and our seawater pump situated right here, which we're able to reuse the existing sea strainers. So it was a very easy adjustment for the seawater inlet system, just to basically reconnect what was already existing in the vessel to save money. As we come around the front, you can see we've got our intercooler situated just here. Um, again, factory setting. Just underneath, we have our potentiometer for our engine control for throttle. Now, again, to save money, this vessel has pre-existing Morse cable throttles, which are integrated into the dash. So rather than spend all the additional money reinventing the wheel, those cables simply hook straight on to the potentiometer, which comes standard on the FPT marine engines. Here we see we've got our oil sump pump for easy discharge of the oil system, a uh, header tank for our coolant there, and you can see just behind us here we have all of our engine electronics, which consists of the engine ECU, the digital CAN bus converter module to convert the signal up to digital to a J1939 uh, uh, protocol, and we have our relay box here, which also has the switches on it to allow us to start and stop the engine here within the engine room should that be required. So in regards to the exhaust system on this vessel, it's been a very easy installation. So as standard, the FPT and F450s come with a five inch mixer right here. Because of such a short run of exhaust, we've been able to maintain that five inch and also because the engine sits so high above waterline, we've been able to maintain the factory height without having to increase the height on the risers. So as you can see, they simply run straight through into this uh, waterlock muffler right behind here before discharging directly out both sides of the vessel for each engine is the entire length of the exhaust system. So a very short run of exhaust. This exhaust system works really well. Back pressures are within uh, allowable limits and also does keep the engines nice and quiet in regards to uh, exhaust noise. So a very, very easy installation with very minimal modification required to suit this vessel. On the starboard side of each engine, you can see here that we have two lines. This top line here, and there's a bottom line down here, these actually connect up to the vessel's hot water system to allow you to have hot water on board the vessel. These fittings come standard on every FPT engine to allow you to really be able to incorporate that into any hot water system you have on board nice and easily. Directly underneath here, we have our freshwater seawater heat exchanger, nice and easily accessible. The whole component can be removed for when down the line it is due for maintenance and cleaning. So very easy to access uh, and just a nice compact unit because as you can see, we are relatively tight even though it is quite a large vessel. Further forward, our simple spin on oil filter and here we've actually conducted a conversion on the electrical system to convert these engines to 12 volt rather than the standard 24 volt because the caterpillars were a 12 volt, much easier to stick with the same voltage uh, same as what's coming out, same as what's going in.
We've just come back from sea trials and the vessel went fantastic. The two FPT NEF 450 marine engines performed flawlessly and gave us excellent performance and also fantastic fuel economy. So to dive into that a bit deeper, we found that this boat gets out and onto the plane at around about 2200 RPM. And once the vessel was up and on the plane, we could see that the load placed upon the engines really fell away. So we found that to be our perfect cruise at around about 23, 2350 RPM. Now the advantage there is we're doing 20 knots. So for a boat of this size and this weight, that is fantastic cruise speed at around about that 2350 RPM. And we're only burning about 36 to 37 litres per hour per engine. So an incredibly low fuel consumption for an excellent cruise speed for this vessel. When we opened it up, we achieved just over 3000 RPM, which is absolutely perfect. And we achieved 28 knots. To conduct a very cost-effective repower by really only replacing the two engines, which had to be done to replace the Caterpillar motors, reusing existing gearboxes, shafts, and propellers, we've come away with an amazing result with the FPT F450. And by choosing that bigger displacement 6.7 litre engine, we've really made sure that this vessel has um, longevity and ample power with that D-rate 370 horsepower setting to ensure that this boat has a fantastic long life while still performing very well in regards to fuel consumption and reliability. If you've got a vessel you're considering repairing, please don't hesitate to reach out to us at THT and we can definitely find the right engine to suit your requirements. Thanks very much for watching, we'll see you next time.